Hey all, Russ here of your TV. Welcome. Check it out. We're up here in Kingman. Gonna take a little ride down Route 66 this morning. This is Andy Devine Avenue, also part of the old historic Route 66. We just crossed under I-40. Up here is all the big hotels and stuff. A lot of people. Look at that Holiday Inn Express. I heard they had the best breakfast on the boulevard here. But it's a lot of different hotels. Bus loads go up to Grand Canyon, right along I-40. Also, tens of thousands of people travel Route 66. All year long. It's incredible. So we're going to chase a few wildflowers, see what we can find. It's not a super bloom like last year. I will show clips from last year's video of the big super bloom. But we're going to see what we can find. Doesn't matter. Blue sky, sunny. Let's go for a ride on Route 66, like right now. Here's some of the old town. Right in here, there's still old cafes, motels. Quite a few motels, actually. You can get you a room right on Route 66. Some of them really cater to the theme of the old road. This is Stockton Hill Boulevard right here. Finally getting some weather. Yeah, it's... Uh, three weeks passed from last year. Last year I found the super bloom right at the end of March. What are we? We're second week of April now. Looking. But you never know. You just never know what you're going to find. See, here's more of the old hotels. The old Travador. Roadway Inn. And then right down as soon as we go through this little pass here, there's a bunch more uh, motels. Off to the right, that'll take you straight into Old Town, Kingman. Here's more. Arcadia Lodge, get you a tattoo in a room. <laughs> Still got the old swimming pools. You know, I mean, it's still got the theme, the old time theme. You can do your laundry right there. Old gas station that's just abandoned now. Look at this. Sugar-free bakery. There you go. Then here's uh, part of Old Town right here too. Machine shop. The big uh, tanks, water tanks with all the emblems. People come from all over the world. Take pictures of this. Right off to the left here, too, is a little uh, Route 66 train museum. It's this endless. Kingman is really one of the best towns you can explore Route 66 history. The Hotel Beale, old bars down here. The old time car dealer right here on the right, right next to Mr. D's. 
old style cafe food. Then off the left is your Kingman Visitor Center, which also has a Route 66 museum. Now they got all the Tesla charging <laughs> things in there, but it's very historic. Actually, I am going to do a very detailed video here in a few weeks on Kingman itself. Straight off, there's the Mojave County Museum, which is really cool. I've done bits and pieces around uh, Kingman. I want to put together an entire video just on this area. Also in May, I'm going to be filming, uh, I think it's May 3rd and 4th. There is a old car type uh, event coming up. It's called the Route Route 66. <laughs> I always get in trouble. Route or route? Route 66 Fun Run, May 3rd, 4th, 5th. Which they have car parades, car show, all the way from Seligman, all the way down to Kingman. Uh, going to be set up along the route, filming it. We're going to have a really good time. So, really looking forward to that. Once again, it's a Route 66 fun run, May 3rd, 4th, and 5th. More of the original O road here. I love driving through here, I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe you're just so close to the cliffs. Trains run through uh, this little canyon here. This part of the nostalgia, huh? You know, this road is decommissioned. It's all, almost all the sections of Route 66 now in all the states are usually county roads, county maintained. We're in uh, Mojave County right here. Little RV parked down there, been there forever. And you see we're skirting right alongside uh, I-40. Busy, busy highway. One of the main links into California. Just truck after truck. But the route, we kind of go right along 40 and then we're going to cut back up those mountains straight ahead. Up into Oatman. Hey, there's a train coming through, huh? Yeah, there's not even a single color or flower along the road here either. I had someone message me uh, a week or so ago, said they rode their motorcycle up over the pass up here. Didn't see much. But you never know what the spring blooms.
Okay, make a left. We're going to continue on this Route 66. Oh, you know what? Right here is the Mojave County sign. Let me stop. I'll get pictures of it for you. Let me pull off in here. Cool looking sign, huh? Open! 23 miles! But it is a very windy. <laughs> You'll see. 23 miles. Cool looking sign. Yeah, they really cater here to uh, Route 66, and they should. It's just part of all of our history. Then you'll see the emblems painted on the highway every so often. This is also part of the scenic byways of the United States. Mojave County, this is Route 10 actually in Mojave County now. But it's all part of the scenic byways. If you ever get a chance, that's what you search. Scenic byways, that kind of thing when you're looking for routes to take. We're going to go up here and uh, we're going to see a little place called Cool Springs. There's also a little rest area. They got some storyboards we'll stop and check before we go over the pass. Yeah, no color yet. Don't see anything. Big washes that run through here. This one's called Sacramento Wash. Raging rivers when it's a uh, rainy season. All the water boils off the mountains. They just come in, plow out the sand, keep the road going. <laughs> Check this out. I had to stop and double back a little bit. Here's the Route 66 rest stop. That's funny. Very well thought out. Very cool. Someone actually spent a little bit of time uh, <laughs> putting it together, delivered it. Looks like a flushable kind, huh? <laughs> wow, look at all the stickers. You know, it needs one more on there, don't you think? Here you go. Now it's official. If you're driving through here, stop and send me a picture of it. Well, you just never know what you're going to find along the road, aren't you? <laughs> That's fun. All right. Keep on trucking. Up here on the left, there's another uh, actual rest area you can camp overnight, I believe buildings up here on the left. Let me uh, pull off and get a picture of it. It's uh, for motorcycles. People riding their motorcycles. I've seen vans camp here.
It's called Saddle Sore Ranch. Welcome to Saddle Sore Ranch. Here's a phone number. Looks like you can uh, stop in, stay a night. Not sure. Looks pretty cool. I like the old uh, VW buses, huh? Just part of it. More on Route 66. I'll have to look in more of that online. Okay. Keep on trucking. There are a couple RV parks through here, too. They're older ones. Really don't know a lot about them. You always see rigs in them, though. A lot of property out here for sale. You can stay in an RV on your property as well, too. Some of the sections in Mojave County allow it their zoning. You got power, no water. You got to haul water out here, though. This is actually considered uh, Golden Valley area. All right, right up here to the right is our little rest area. I always see campers in here. They spend the night. There's a storyboard. This is kind of the start of the going over the Sick Greaves Pass on Route 66. And almost no color here, huh? No flowers. When I edit this video, I will add clips from last year. Well, let's check out storyboards. people stop here this has become such a huge attraction to drive this old road looks like the boards getting a little beat up by the Sun the original 2200 miles route 66 Main Street of America there's some information like where we left up around Kingman, amount of miles we travel, then going over the pass here. There's a little map of it. It's definitely green. Had quite a bit of rain in the deserts. Here's a little bit more about the route. Old travelers tent camping along the way. Imagine having your convertible Cadillac crank up the AM radio and away you go. <laughs> but back then it was just regular travel. These guys traveled through the towns. There was no interstates. Pretty cool though. Here you go, that's what we're looking for, right by the sign here few yellow ones. No 
fireworks. <laughs> yep, a little bit of color. We'll find more. Far as you can see, big open desert. There you can really see how the washes run. Water coming off the mountains. They've actually maintained this pretty good for just being a county road. But some years you can actually see patches of flowers up on the sides of these uh, cliffs, little mountains here. Nothing yet. There's Cool Springs. It's a gift shop, rock shop. We'll stop, show it to you before we head over the pass. Can a witch? That's the direction we're going. We'll just make a quick stop. I don't even know if they're open yet. Sidewinder curves. 191 curves up through here. Let me get parked here a sec. Just a neat place. Travelers been stopping here forever. Absolutely forever. Here's a sign. I'll show it to you. 191 turns. Historic Route 66. It is. It's curvy going up through there. It looks like she's just getting opened up. What a neat place to work, huh? Good morning, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Always like seeing this old pickup truck. Flagpole. And I survived the sidewinder curves. <laughs> Even got a hashtag for it. Cool little stop. Always recommend stopping here. talking to that nice lady for a couple minutes she was saying she's been here 30 years 
and she's only seen three super blooms. Last year was the last one out of 30. But when we get on the other side, we'll see flowers. You're just not going to see a super bloom, probably. But that's okay. It's not the destination, that's the journey getting there, huh? <laughs> Here we go. Over six degrees past. I wonder who counted all the curves, 191 of them. I know there's a lot of them. This is not a road to pull your big rig trailer over either. Actually, they warn you, nothing over 40 feet. Because it gets uh, pretty uh, narrow and has some switchbacks on it. Quite a few people uh, live out here. You know that this place is honeycombed with mines. This is a mining mecca forever. They've been going underneath the ground and pulling out gold, silver, all kinds of minerals here. All right, go up here a little ways. I know of a pullout. If no one's parked there, we can stop. Also, there's that Schaefer's uh, Spring, Schaefer's Fish Bowl, little fish pond that someone built. Maybe we'll stop there too, huh? What do you think? Isn't that a pretty view? Hey, be sure to get over and check out my website, TV. Sign up for the free newsletter. Put one out twice a month now. Right around the 5th and 20th of the month. Also got a merch store, RVRTV.TV is the website. You can also get free screensaver downloads. All you gotta do is enter your email, get some real pretty pictures, which we're updating the pictures now too. Once again, that's my website, RVRTV.TV, and I appreciate it very much. Okay, my pullout should be, look at this, Not. nope, not this one, one more, here it is, yay, <laughs> no one's here, let's stop. Well, slim pickings on the flowers. <laughs> Still a pretty view. You'll hear burrows down through here too. They're everywhere along this stretch of road. Well, there's a look at some of the 191 curves we just came through. Yeah, the mining history just goes back forever. There's trails down there. I don't know if that's private land or open. I see power poles down through there. There's the top of Sitgrees Pass. Okay, follow the road down. Then you see that open patch area? That's where that spring is. We'll stop there. So it's a man made little pond that they built in the hill.
and we're rolling. <laughs> Starting to warm up, really turned into a very pretty day. But I've noticed something. There's no other traffic. Like last year during the super bloom, it was continuous cars everywhere. We're climbing pretty good now. There's that bridge. All made out of rock. Yeah, back in the day, this was the main highway. Coming over this pass. No one's parked here. You can only fit about one or two cars in here. I don't know if you can see the stone steps there. That's what we're going to go up. It's called Schaefer's Fish Bowl. Natural spring coming out of the rocks. There you go, just need a little water. <laughs> the bees, you can just hear them buzzing all over. Everyone's happy here. You can see the water just coming out of the ground. Still not the poppies that you'll see during the super bloom. Okay, someone cemented in some rocks here to capture the water. They put goldfish in it. I don't know if they survive up here. Oh, wow. That is really full of algae, huh? See the flowers coming out of the rocks? Ton of people stop here. It's kind of something how they made all this. A lot of effort went into it. That is so thick with that green algae, I don't think a fish could survive. Look at this little can of food or something up here. Let me get up on this side. You can see where water still comes out of the rocks up through here. Yeah, a little can. I think it's fish food. That's probably why it's so dark green too much. That water needs some aeration to it. Nice little view, huh? Kind of a cool little spot. Yeah, I don't see any goldfish anymore. I don't know how they'd survive in that stuff, huh?
Okay, there you go. You seen Shaper's Pond, Fish Pond, Fish Bowl, something like that. A lot of videos on it. It's been three, four years since I stopped there. Fun little stop. Alright, this is the top. Sick Grease Pass. About 3,600 feet. And no flowers. I'll stop this landing area up here. There's a memorial. This is where you could really see a ton of the super bloom last year. Wonder what curve we're at. 191. Well, we're halfway. <laughs> curve 85 coming up. All right, let me park here and we'll walk around a little. All right, I see like a little ground cover. Purple there, not much. It'll probably flower up next week or so and then that'd be it yeah last year in this area it really looked different yeah a year ago here's what you seen you seen all the poppies purple just all over the hills here Totally different, huh? This is a neat area up here, though. Uh, a lot of people have put up little memorials for loved ones. You always see a lot of people stop up here. Got a great view from the top. A little solar lights. A lot of names, crosses. Leanne. Yeah, there's a few more than I remember. What a view. Over here you can look all the way down. There's the the road. Drop down into Oatman. And they got more crosses going down the hillside here. Yeah, way down, that's an active mine. They still mine this area. Sure is pretty here though, huh? We're not that far from Colorado River and uh, California state line here either. There's your Kodak moment. Trails going up. Now they got cell towers up there. Pretty good reception. 
there's another look that sick grease pass right there we just drove up through all the way down would be cool springs miles wise coming over this uh, pass here it's not very far just windy and big open terrain That kind of answered it. Let's drop on down through Oatman. I do know one more spot to look on the other side of town. Still a pretty ride through here. What'd that sign call it? Sidewinder. Curves. This is why they don't want you pulling uh, big rigs and big trailers up through here. It gets very narrow, especially this through this stretch right here. It's a long ways down over the edge. If you're afraid of heights, might not be the best road. You can see mine shafts right off to the side. Camera's not probably picking them up, but you can. You can see them right off the road. I know up here with that big active mine, they actually mine underneath the road. Okay, this right here is probably the worst switchback. right before you get down to this big mine. Can you imagine all the people that have driven this route? You know, 2026 is a centennial for Route 66. 100 years. Here's where they mine underneath the road. Those shafts go way back. And it's all fenced and gated. Quite a few people still work there. There you can see some of the mine shafts. Uh, they're all fenced, gated, blocked off. There should be a sign up here that says to Oatman. Right around, here it is. Open, two miles. Dropping down pretty good too. We're what, what, 3,600 feet? Right up there top of the pass, so come down the mountain fairly quick. Okay, this area right here, off to the left, there's a parking area. And last year it was just covered in uh, flowers. It was just a big sea of poppies all the way up the hill. You could walk all the way up to the top. 
Nothing but poppies, purple colored flowers, all kinds of stuff. And this was in the end of March of last year, 2023. Absolutely beautiful, huh? I will put the link in down description to last year's video so you can enjoy it. That video has been viewed over a quarter million times, over 250,000 views from last year's Super Bloom. So if you didn't see it, check it out. Once again, the uh, link will be down in the description. Alright, what do you say? Let's head on into Oatman. this town <laughs> it is touristy but you gotta love it the burrows hang here it's got a haunted uh, hotel all kinds of shops it has survived through uh, a lot and still going mining is still popular here but it's more for tourism uh, a lot of buses roll through Tons of people come through here. I'm just going to do a drive through. I know one more spot where we might find some flowers on the other side of town, but we'll take a little sneak peek. Once again, this is Oatman, Arizona. Western movies have been filmed here. There's the hotel that's haunted. You can still stay at it, book a room. Old general store, they got wagons up on top of the walkways. Old jails. Good food. Plus you can even buy uh, burrow food, you can feed the burrows. people getting selfies with a burrow. <laughs> okay, we're almost down to the bottom of the pass here. There's one little mountain section down here that we might get lucky and find a few flowers. We'll see. Hey, I spotted a couple patches. Yay. Camera's not picking it up. They're off to my left. Let me stop up here. They're not big, but hey, we found them. <laughs> Find a place to pull off. Well, here's some. They've popped up. Warmer weather helps too. So on the west side, west side of Oatman, going towards like Bullhead City. A little suction in here. Cool. Then across the road, there's some purple.
There you go, there's patches of them. You can hear burrows up there too. Bet them guys are up there eating the flowers, huh? <laughs> Zoom in with my phone here, yeah. They are up there having a flower buffet. <laughs> they're happy. No wonder they're not in town. Pretty cool. There you go, we found a few. Too cool for school. Isn't it pretty here though? Just so picturesque. That's looking straight up towards Oatman. Back over the pass. For almost a hundred years, people have been coming through here. Probably even longer than that. Well, at least we found a few of them. Well, after going down through uh, Quartzsite and up the Colorado River and up through Parker Dam, I knew we wouldn't see a bunch, not a big super bloom, but we found a few. That's all you can ask for, huh? Fun little Sunday morning drive. I need to go in town, pick up some supplies. Now that the weather is finally getting better. But coming up on our Veer TV be a few more trips. Right around Route 66, Kingman. Wanna do Kingman. Then also that car show coming up the first part of May. Then after that, we're heading straight north up into Utah. Good weather, good time to travel. Journey continues. Talk soon.